I thought I'd show you all of the things that are growing right now in the garden. Follow me. So over here are the blueberry bushes, which are my, that's not the blueberry bushes, that's the sky. These are the blueberry bushes. You can see there's lots of good blueberries growing on there. You have to net them soon so the birds don't get them. But I can't wait to pick them. Probably my guess is maybe late July or maybe even mid-July if we get lucky. But yeah, here they are, so pretty. And we've got some tomato plants growing. Unfortunately, all of the marigolds and zinnias have gotten picked off by some creature, despite the netting. I don't like all the creatures. This is a Carolina allspice, which I absolutely love the fragrance of. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it has this incredible red bud. Oh my gosh, it smells heavenly. Uh, and then over here, we've got the catnip, which even the butterflies love. Oh, I wish you could smell the Carolina allspice. It's so amazing. Now, this year, we have so many incredible apples that are on the heirloom apple tree. You probably know my dad was an incredible gardener and he has so many apples this year. I wish he was here to see this. He'd be so happy. There's just endless amounts of apples here. We might put socks on them. Sometimes we put socks on them if we feel like they are gonna get a little fungus or if they're gonna get bugs, but you don't always need to. And over here is the horseradish, which is so fun to make into horseradish sauce. In the past, we've taken uh, vinegar and shredded the horseradish, which once you pull it up, there's a big root in there anyway, and we can make amazing horseradish sauce. Then over here, we've got the dogwood, which I adore. And then the garden. But I actually want to take you over to the rose arbor next after we get through this garden. It's sort of in between right now, the garden. I don't know about yours, but it's irises and peonies have passed. So we're just sort of in the, in the waiting stages for the next flowers to pop up. But there are a few peonies left at our fountain. Some more fruit trees here. And then we're coming up on the rose arbor. And I just love this rose arbor. We had to repair it recently. My great-grandfather George originally built it in 1949 and this is a new dawn climbing rose and I just planted last year a whole bunch of new new dawns because we had to put so many repairs together on this rose arbor that it really needed some new roses to go with it so I think in about a year or two they'll be climbing just as much as this one but I just love all the petals that that uh that grow that fall on the ground and it feels so festive. See that? It's very lovely and romantic to walk along the petals. Then, over here, I'll show you my dad's amazing rhododendrons. Soon I'm going to give you a tour of his whole rhododendron collection, but for now I'll just show you this. This is the fun cart that my great aunt used to push around. You can see it's sort of rusted and it needs a new handle, but I just think it's so charming. And then the beautiful rhododendron. Let's see if I can get a good view of it over here. What's nice about this one is that it's tall enough so that the deer don't eat it all. A lot of our smaller ones really need some serious fencing in order to prevent the deer I just love these beautiful hot pink purple flowers. 
And as a kid, I used to climb inside the rhododendrons. We had some really big ones. It felt very exciting. They felt a lot bigger then. Ever notice how things feel felt so much bigger when you were a kid? <laughs> and then I'll show you one other fun little thing. Maybe two. Over there is our chicken coop. We have a family of foxes that have recently created some carnage around here with our chickens, which has been very sad. So we really need to get a new chicken coop and rebuild it so that they're more protected from the family of foxes. So if you know of, of any suggested places to get a new chicken coop or a favorite style, let me know. And here's a fun little favorite thing. This is an old tree stump. We had a big, huge tree that was hit by lightning. My parents actually, I think, got married under this tree and this is a remaining little fun artifact from it when it had to finally come down. But it's fun to see mushrooms grow in there sometimes. So I'd love to know what's growing in your garden. Share with me, send me a message, share with me in the comments. I love this time of year, it's such an exciting, beautiful time full of new life.